everybody, Blue Jacket 66 here on Saturday morning. Getting ready to have some friends over, uh, fixing a prime rib roast. I'm gonna put it in the oven here in a couple hours, should be great. My son and I were kind of preparing and we went downstairs, shot a little pool, and I kind of started looking around and have just a little bit of memorabilia. Um, and noticed I have a lot of those in sad but incredibly uh, vanishing autographs. Let's take a look at them. Okay, first up, kind of upstairs. It's a Matt Forte helmet. It's okay. Can't remember who's on the other side of this one. But, damn it. This is from the 2000 season. Kurt Warner. You know, it's official Rydell helmet. The incredible vanishing autograph. Okay, so headed downstairs. This was probably not an authentic autograph in the first place. This is one of those mid-90s. There it is. You can kind of see the B. So it's essentially a disappeared autograph. Brett Favre. Thankfully, this awesome Dr. J autograph with a silver Sharpie is still good. This one, however, is a shame. Bill Russell. This was autograph was before he started signing. He used to be literally impossible to sign. And this was taken at that impossible time. Now he signs sign more, but uh, the incredible vanishing autograph. I'm not an idiot. These are kept out of light, okay? These are downstairs, no direct sunlight. It's Larry Bird. That one's good. Silver Sharpie seemed to hold up. Here's a nice Adrian Peterson jersey. Thankfully, that's held up. Black Sharpie. Ollie, 1988. These have held up. These are probably not authentic. Again, it's the mid-90s when they're all fake. There's Jordan. These are all done in, uh, those are done in gold. Pippin in black. They're probably not authentic, I don't know. These, these are. This is Jim Brown, another uh, silver sharpie seems to hold up well. Unfortunately, and a big unfortunately, this Walter Payton. It's from the Walter Payton uh, Foundation. It's starting to fade, it looks like. It's kind of the bar area. While we're here, might as well show some of the other things I collect. Some lunch boxes, Beverly Hillbillies, Partridge Family. Lidsville, anybody remember the Lidsville? Anybody as old as me? Old games I used to play. Some bobbleheads, Lost in Space game, Gilligan's Island. Anybody get these back? I don't know, early 2000? Coca-Cola, these commemorative pieces. There's Ty Cobb, there's a gold, and then the silver. Scooby. Um, Monsters, Beverly Hillbillies, Archer Family. Uh, okay. Anybody have incredible edibles? Nope, you're not as old as I am. Here's another incredibly, another Warner. Some really cool uh, Sports Illustrated, and the auto is disappearing. Drew Brees on a Rydell helmet, full-size helmet. That's holding up, as is this Favre. Um, Pujols, I've got a ton of Pujols autographs. Got them all at perp, uh, in person. Uh, at the annual, the Cardinals had this uh, annual fest in February. Uh, I have a lot signed to my son and a lot, ton of balls. Some commemorative... Uh, McGuire bats, but here's here's a cool autograph, still hanging in there. Let's see. Cal Ripken gold sharpie. Game used glove autographed, and a Griffey jersey. So, um, I don't know who I don't know why some of them, some of them disappear and some of them they don't. Certainly conditions, and maybe it's the media you put it on, but. That's one of the reasons I don't really, well, authenticity is a big problem and uh, 
the incredible disappearing autographs. So if I get autographs and collect them, if you could ask me how I would collect them and how I would want them, I'd want them in ballpoint pen on a baseball. Uh, but there's incredible autograph uh, collections out there. My uh, baseball collector has one. But some of my stuff's disappearing. Okay, you guys, talk to you later.